Hello, hello. Steve, Canadian Sasquatch, coming at you with another extension cord build. The last video, we did uh, an extension cord for a light. Uh, this time we are going to build one using these guys. What we're gonna need is, of course, the socket, but we're also gonna make it out of one of these guys, a socket with a, a switch. The switch will control the socket, and if you catch where this is going, we'll be able to use this switch to control the light that we just did. We will need one of these guys, which houses all the bits and pieces, uh, cord clamps, for making sure everything uh, stays nice and tight. Faceplate for said box. Electrical tape. For tools, we'll need Phillips, flathead, screwdrivers, wire strippers, lineman pliers, needle nail pliers, side cutters. And that is pretty much all you need to uh, make this happen. The extension cord. So just a standard three prong, both sides. Uh, this is the side that we will keep. This is the side we're gonna cut off. Um, we're gonna cut it off right around here. Snip. Ah, snip, just like that. So we cut off the, uh, the female side. We're gonna save this, because we're actually gonna need some of these wires here in a little bit. The next thing we need to do is we need to uh, take our box here and we need to decide uh, which of these holes that are all the way around here, or on the back, that we're going to punch out for the cord. So what we do is we take the screwdriver, we'll plop one right there, take the trusty old lineman pliers, and pop that through. And then we can grab these guys and yank that out. And so we just took the little punch out, got the little hole right here, the next thing we need to do is we need to uh, get this guy ready. And this just goes inside like this with a nut going on the inside, like so. And we just spin it down like that. Flathead screwdriver again. And just on, on the edges there, you just pop it there and tighten it down. So now we're going to take our cable and Push it through here. Probably about that much, right? And then we're just gonna take our screwdriver and we're just gonna clamp down on here. There we go. So we've got our clamp in. Cable's nice and secure now. All right, so we're gonna take the, uh, the outer insulation off here. Um, to do so, tool I forgot to mention, razor knife. Just gently score it. You don't wanna go too deep because you don't wanna cut into the wires inside this outer casing here. Right there. And there we have it, <clears throat> our three wires. So we got our, our positive, negative, and our ground. So the way we're gonna actually do this, wire in from the cable here, we're gonna wire into this guy, and then daisy chain from this guy to this one. That way these two outlets are always on. And then this one here will be controlled by the on off switch. And we need to peel our wires here. So you take your uh, wire strippers and go down about, about an inch or so. Spin it around, pull that guy off, and then make sure you Twist these wires nice and tight. And again, right here, about, about an inch. Last one. So yeah, I'm using a 14 gauge um, extension cord here, but this really works with any gauge extension cord. Uh, I'm just using a, a thicker one because I'm gonna be using uh, various power tools like table saws and drill presses and big ass vacuum cleaners with it. So uh, want something a little bit more sturdy. While we're at it, we're gonna go back to our cutoff here and we're going to cut off a chunk, another chunk here. Cut it off, um, take a 
screwdriver here and just kind of try to push them out. And then from the other side, we can pick the green one because green is for ground. And we're going to need this one ground the box so when it comes time to it. We actually need all three. Pull all three out. There we go. And we're going to, once again, peel one side here. And we only did uh, the one side for now. So once we get everything attached in the box and whatnot, we can measure and cut to a better length. So the first thing we're going to do is black goes to the brass side. So you want to spin these guys around and you want to make sure when you're doing it, you do it clockwise because when you're screwing these guys down, they're going to go clockwise. And that way, as you're tightening it down, it will tighten everything down rather than loosen up the wires. Like so, and then you can screw it down. And again, we're going to do the same thing with our spare black wire here. It also goes to the, it'll go to this other one here. So the thing about these guys is these are actually attached via this little tab right here. So we can quite easily use both screws here to make our daisy chain. The white goes to the silver ones. Screw it down. And then the, the other one here, screw it down. Just like so. And then we've got this green one here, which goes to the green wire. All right, so one of the things I forgot to mention was that we'd need as wire nut. We use these to connect all wires together. And we also need one more green wire. All right. So what we do now is we take our three green wires, twist them, and put the uh, wire nut on. But you gotta twist them the right way. The challenges of being left-handed. Alrighty, so. Screw that down good and tight. And what we're gonna do is take some of the electrical tape and we're actually even gonna do a little extra wrap in here. And then the green wire goes around the green screw. Screwdriver, tighten, good and tight, just like that. And then on these guys, uh, we've got these uh, ears. We can just bust those ears off by grabbing your pliers and just wiggling them back and forth. We also have these guys we're gonna pull out. And you don't have to take these screws out, but for this next part that I'm about to do, it makes it a lot easier, which is wrap this in electrical tape. Typically, this is not something that you need to do if you're just using regular, like if this is going into a wall, you don't really need to do that. But since this is an extension cord banging around, there's, there's holes in the bottom of this thing, as you can see. So stuff might be able to get in there relatively easily. So we just wanna protect our cables here and nothing gets in there that might be able to short them or anything like that. So just a little extra precaution. And now we're gonna do essentially the same thing as on this one. We're gonna start off busting the ears off. Again, we're gonna take these, these guys off. Just like that. This guy's now prepared. Um, pretty easy. Uh, so on this side, we've got these two black screws. Uh, those we just screwed in with nothing on them. We aren't using this side of the, uh, the outlet and switch. We've got uh, another ground and we've got another brass for the black wire and this one for that wire. So we're just kind of looking at it, seeing how long we need these wires to be. We do have a lot of space in there, so for the most part, they are good. I'm just gonna trim this one just a little bit. Peel these wires. One, two, three. And I think I am actually going to screw this down right now here just to make it a little bit easier. 
black to brass and tighten it down. White to silver, tighten that down. And then on this side we do have black and the black wire and the white wire on the same side. So we just want to try and tidy it up as best as we can. Make sure none of these uh, wires are touching like so. And then on the other side, we do have our ground. We're gonna do one more green wire here. Pulled this wire out of a, another chunk of the cable. Now on some of these junction boxes, they uh, have a specific spot where you <clears throat> screw the ground wire down to. Uh, this particular one does not have that. So we're gonna do it a little differently. First things first, we are going to screw this new wire here into the green screw, like so. And then like the other outlet that we finished, we are going net to now wrap it in uh, electrical tape. Just to cover everybody up, make sure we're all safe and sound. Like so. And now we are going to combine these two together like so, move them around. All right, now we're gonna screw down the top here to about there. And then we're gonna get this one. <clears throat> and this one we are going to gently create a loop here, like so. And we're going to screw it down right through here. So between the outlet and the junction box, we're just going to sandwich it down there. And this is for our ground. And this one I'm going to screw down a little bit tighter than I have for the other ones. And there we have it. we got our outlets ready. And now we're ready for trying to get everybody in position here for this guy. So it looks like this one is good. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten it down as is. Like so, double check. Oh yeah, that's good right there. So yeah, we just screw these guys in now. So there we have it, our uh, extension cable is uh, complete. So yeah, this, like I said, this is a 25 foot, 12 gauge cable, um, extension cord that I got from the big box store, super cheap. And uh, that's all it took to make it happen. So let's go ahead and uh, give it a test here. So I've got a little cheapo light here that we can use to test this with. Alrighty, so if I plug it in on this side and turn the light on, there it is. It works a treat. This one? Yep. This one? Nope, because that's the one with the switch. And you guys probably can't really see the switch. so. And that is uh, how we do a uh, homemade extension cord. The reason why I did it, um, because I wanted a, an outlet with a switch with two outlets that were always powered on uh, out here in the garage. So it's for power tools and whatnot, table saws and drill presses. Um, and typically you can't get a power bar, which has a switch on it, long enough or rate it for all the various power tools. So you just build your own. Easy peasy. As I mentioned, all the bits and bobs that we use to make this, the list is down in the description down below, along with all the tools. They are all Amazon affiliate links, so that means you use that link. I get paid a couple of pennies if you buy using those links. Um, and with that, 
Uh, be sure to uh, like, subscribe, ring the bell, comment down below, ask questions if you've got any questions on this thing. Um, and I got one more of these things to build, so I'll bring you guys along for that one as it will be slightly different from this one. Just slightly different. It's same thing, just different. So, uh, yeah. Cheers, everybody.